that's the process there. So now we have this blank shell. So this is a brand new piece in my studio of a whitetail buck making a scrape. And if you're a deer hunter, you know how cool that is to see. Um, they're agile, they're athletic, uh, their neck is swollen. It's just one of the coolest things ever to see a deer making a scrape in the wild. It's also one of my favorite things to paint. I've painted them before. Um, this is a piece called Scrape Line that I painted a few years ago. And this is a canvas print we actually offer for sale on our website, ryankirby.com framed or unframed so if you're looking for a last minute Christmas gift for a deer hunter that's a great one but this piece here we've we've gone through all the phases that I typically do from having an initial idea I work with a reference of uh, wildlife photographer Don Jones on some reference for it I mock it up in Photoshop I sketch it and study the anatomy work and rework and push and pull and finally I get a composition that I like and then I'll transfer that to the canvas I'll put an underpainting down here and then I'll come back in and pop color on top of it. So that's where we're at right now. We're about halfway through the underpainting process. And from here, the process slows way down, but it's gonna be a lot more fun. We're gonna start putting color on it and seeing this thing come to life. A new one on the easel here um, this is going to be for the Southeast Wildlife Expo and for those of you who don't know or aren't familiar with Siwi the Southeastern Wildlife Expo click the link in the description below that will tell you more about it but this is an original oil painting I'm doing this for the Southeastern Wildlife Expo so people can see it in person at the show work but from here on out we're going to do a lot more in-depth a lot more behind the scenes a lot better uh, production quality so hopefully you really enjoy it and you'll get a better and a more clear look into the back back end process of my studio